Hello everybody and welcome to episode 3 of my gameplay series for the Smugglers in Dune Spice Wars. I'm Icon and today, well, today it's going to be a lot more intense than the other couple of episodes. We have now a close-up border with the Fremen and even worse than anything else, let's just say she doesn't like me too much. We've uh, barely fought off one of their attacks in the last, in the end of the last episode, and today expansion will be, of course, still a bit of a topic. I really want this, and I really want that. I guess this will be the harder part. This will be the easier part. But there's still a village with four people in the way, and we got a siege back there, and there's a lot of complicated things that. I really don't know yet how to work with so we could either bribe them with water but you know water is extremely valuable and we might have a nice amount of water right now but that doesn't mean that I have an endless supply of that the other option would be to just grab the cave of riches region here which would have the huge advantage of being closer to my border right now because I'm pretty scared of the frame in there it's all not that easy. So, my plan today was to think a bit more logistically. I want to have airfields, because I really feel like there's too much going on here these days. So, I, th I thought we put down one airfield here at Arkfer, and, well, optimally, we'd had one here at the top side at Hadizek too, but I don't see myself being able to realize that in the next time and definitely one down at Fon Mara. So we can ship troops from Akfer to Fon Mara in a quick time because we need to be here. We need to to get here in a quick uh, in a quick way. Otherwise we'll get overtoppled. So let's see. What do we need for that? Have a do I have anywhere a open slot? No, but I have stupid amounts of blast So why not use that? Why not use that? So, airfield will cost us a terrible amount of manpower upkeep. Ow, boy. This is effing costly. So, we're going to need another recruitment center for that. And to support that recruitment center, we will need more juicy, juicy Solaris. So, this will... This will stay a wishful thinking for a while. So how can I get myself more money? I find it quite disturbing that it seems like the only way of earning money is the processing plan. And beyond that, you only have the maintenance center available. But speaking about the maintenance center, Lamin should have one. Do I already have one there? No, I don't. Or, well, which province is the best for that? So this one is close border, closing borders, well, here, this one is pretty good. Let's add one, let's add one maintenance center to, to add fur. This will recruit, reduce the support costs of these uh, buildings for what do you want? a substantial amount, but this still means we're going to need a lot more income before we can realize all that. Which is a shame. So I think I should focus next on the on the increase of my manpower. One problem after another. Let's redeploy that harvester as quick as possible. And let's see, there's a siege, okay. You call me. And we have new resolutions, so what do we have here? 100% unit recruitment costs, plus 30% plus creed upkeep. Oh boy, that would be fun, but I don't have the necessary money to bounty stuff, sadly. Sadly, I'm a little bit, I'm a little poor these days. Well, I really need that thing down there. This will help me so much. 
let's wait what will happen after the expansion there of Otfer. So, is there anything else which give me more income here? Harvester works. Harvest a gathering rate per economy building in its village. Oop. Chuam branch. Now that would give me some money, wouldn't it? Recycling baths. Ooh, yeah. That, that's a powerful one, but that doesn't yield money either. So, I already got the black market and the administrative hall. We could now go for the embassy. Agents assigned on Landrad produce Solaris. That's that's ridiculous. So let's see. We would get here. We definitely should get that third district here going. Influence production is so powerful for my faction, but then again, I'd need a lot of money for that. So. Let's see, maybe somebody is up, to, up for a trade. Greetings. But they all value Solaris. their Solaris a lot. So... Let's see, how much of your money would you give me for my Plaskreed? Amusingly enough, quite a lot. So let's see. Oh, well. There's not much money left on her wallet. I don't want to plunder her entire wallet here. Let's keep that plus crate for her. a better moment. And let's wait what'll happen once I have this thing here completed. Yeah, plus 16. Now that's a better income. And we're getting a raid in. Okay, there. Good thing that I have my troops in the vicinity. Alright, so, yeah, these... These maintenance centers, they really kick, uh, kick off some nice... Uh, some nice cost reductions there. So, how to earn more money... We'll see about that. The next thing that I need is more more recruitment. I think I'm going to install that here back at Hadeze. It's one of my backwater provinces where we can easily afford ourselves some some extra manpower there. What do you want? Great. More and let's see. I think I could afford that airfield already. Yes, Can I command that militia? No, I can't. What do you want? Don't die! I don't want to need to spend money to replace you, fool. Ugh. Mission failed. Whatever. We need those guys. We can't change that. It's not as if they were extremely costly or anything. So, the Fremen really mean it. Double missile launchers here. Well, what will I need to incite rebellions? I love uh, rebellions uh, there. So here, crowd manipulation. We'll need Arrakis infiltration and Chowam infiltration. Whew. None of these I got so far. Yeah, well. Political audit. I'd gain Lanzarote standing due to that. Interesting. Nice way to spend your... Spend your influence, also. Well, okay. Let's, let's pause for a moment and... Uh, okay, maybe after we've finished the building there. Okay, I got four manpower production. That's that's it. So military units can embark or disembark shuttles within the building's range. But what's the building's range? Do I get a display on that? Of course not. That would be too easy. So well 
since I sadly have no clue how long that in that range is supposed to be, we're going to set that up at one Mara. So I got the Zolaris, I got the manpower. This will drain my manpower production entirely though. Ugh, well, I'd better set up another recruitment office before I do that. Because, you know, manpower is such a valuable resource. You can't trade it. That's one. And also, you need a lot of that. So, let's see. I got all these guys here around the corner. So let's place down one agent at the Chowan. And, well... I'll put my support on the troop inventories. I don't really I really don't mind about that. What do you want? So can I craft some gear sabotage? Yes, boss. We'll Agreed. use that. Gear sabotage will make this operation here a breeze. And then I'll be able to check out how airfields and the like work as soon as I have the building slots. Although I gotta say, it, it really feels good to have this amount of Plascrete production. So... Sadly, nobody values Plascrete these days. I don't feel too surprised about that. Okay, just waiting for the operation to be uh, crafted. Because I really think this will make a huge difference. Great. And I really want to use all that authority. I got so much authority on me. So, construction complete. We got a lot of manpower. And now we can research further. So... With the water seller's contacts, I have an insane amount of water surplus right now. That's a good thing. The next thing I want to unlock is the Underworld Bribes branch, because then we got all the smuggler-specific tech. And this also will yield me more money, more influence. This one will yield me more... Well, more Zolari if I put agents on the enemy side. This is... This is a necessary evil, I'm not too interested in that, but... Plus 20 Zolari production per faction with less influence than me. Alone that is stupidly powerful, and intel per underworld headquarters. I want that tech. This is what will uh, what'll allow me to be quite flexible with my uh, yeah. espionage activities. At least that's the strat, you know. That's gonna hurt. Your plans are always one thing, reality is another. So, well, let's do the gear sabotage. Need something, Chief? So. As long as we're paid. There's no rush, right? Just want to make sure that none of my units are we'll stay risking their lives here. So, these guys can Agreed. fight already. Yeah, these guys can fight now again too. So here, gear sabotage, making the job a breeze, like I said. Pretty sure we might have lost somebody otherwise, but this way, no problem whatsoever. Okay, nice. Why do I have so much spice on the stockpile, though, if the Imperial demand is that low? Okay, so... Here there's some room for income improvement as well. Let's check out the trade one more time. I don't think that much has changed, but... I couldn't be more wrong! Hey there, fair lady. Didn't you need Plascrete? I heard you need Plascrete. I got Plascrete. 
Now give me all your money. All right, beautiful. So this will allow me several things, as long as she bites, but why shouldn't she? So now the first thing we're doing is building that embassy. Hell yeah. So we'll get the statecraft bonus, so. We'll get more influence, max influence that is, and we get even more influence production, so... Stuff's coming together late, uh, slowly. Alright, so we had a strong decline against that. The minor house has actually blocked that. Interesting. How's our Conan is suffering plus great upkeep penalties? Everybody hates the Harkonnen. And surveillance committee is engaged, okay, whatever. Don't care about these too much. What I do care about is the fact that we gained ourselves another refinery. Hell yeah. So, this went pretty good so far. So, trade request. Greetings. What do you want from me, old man? You want my plus Crete. <laughs> Forget about that. You are coming in too late, my man. Okay, we got ourselves a new village, and you know what? I want to go for negotiations with these dudes and increase the relations with the Sichbiranim. I, I really don't know what this will give me in the long run. I want to experiment around with that mechanic a bit, and I really feel like this will be worth it. So, speaking about worth it, my oh, troops are yes. ready. And let's grab ourselves Haltar. So there's Mount Idaho. We've investigated a point of interest. Let's gain some free tech. Okay. No! Ah, okay, it got destroyed because they lost control about of that area. Now, well, let's... That's forgivable. Alrighty. What do we have here? Seeds of treasons. If I don't do that, one of my people will defect. Set up two spying operations. Well, okay, no problem. We're gonna do one probe setup. I definitely want to claim you that area we'll stay here. <laughs> it has a uh, has a rare material deposit and why the hell shouldn't I that would be just silly not to it will bring me so much oh there's this there's a raid roaming around there I can't see them <laughs> and there's the polar sink the polar sink will give me the opportunity to build a water extractor and it'll yield five uh, one thousand hegemony so pretty big thing speaking about hegemony i cracked the 5k mark so unlocks contraband special events whatever that is but i just gained 100 and f uh, another 50 votes at the lanzarote that's quite big so processing planned Alrighty, so my troops here are on the front. There's a little bit of trouble here at this these hinterlands, probably, but that's why I want to befriend the dudes at Biranim, because, you know, gives me the feeling as if we'd be safer there, but this is one of the situations that's really giving me the chills, because we could be, we could be losing a lot there quite quickly, so let's see. Greetings. Does anybody here value Plascreed? No. Well, well. Let's sport an operation here. I really want to know what's going on there. Because this... This is a uh, foreign land for me. And foreign land is bad for me. 
and I really want to know what's here around these court borders as well. So, how's Atreides reached 5,000 hegemony? Well, surprise, so did I. Oh, geez, we have an undeployed harvester. Speaking about harvesters, I have so much manpower right now. Let's do something with that. Okay. I'm at maximum influence now, so we should definitely start spending some. Luckily, we'll expand our influence very soon. Or maximum influence, that is. So, the Fremen have launched gear sabotage against me. Okay, that's a bad sign. I'll rather move my dudes over there. And so, a missile battery would cost me manpower. Well, let's afford that airfield. And, okay, leave. We're getting in a raid at Ockfer anyway, so... Okay, let's... Let, let, let's... Let's think for a moment. Haltar is now pumping out Zolaris like crazy, like we're rich. We're super rich right now, for, for the moment. This is, this can change quite quickly, but we all know how this is. So... What do I do next? Slam down a missile battery? I'm very tempted. Yeah, let's do that. I have no clue what will happen here in the vicinity, but I want to be prepared. And let's get ourselves those airfields down. And let's see what, what will happen out of We're that. Let's break some bones. And while I'm so successful, rich and everything, I'm really considering some new troops as well because you know spend some to get some so yes boss go what do you want sadly we lost our frontliners yet again but that has turned into kind of a ritual by now so here the carry all is carrying my thingy here away that's good. Alright. Oh, you only get one of these. Ah. Hmm. So, my bad. You'll have to select there. Okay, well, is there anything here that I'd really, really love to have? Research center is something I feel like could be very useful in the longer terms of this game. And at the military side, recruitment center is just amazing. Weapons facility. Command post. Well, if anything, then the recruitment center. What would be the slot there? quite appealing except for the Zolari costs but that's always a thing where you feel bad about so there's hostile units on territory yeah well. I kind of like expect them to, to do that Paid. All right. We'll get them, Chief. I'm pretty sure that this ain't everything they are bringing there. I bet that there's something stealthing around or something or or so. So combat drone. Recompany. Well, right now I want another units of another unit of snipers. Just like I thought. Let's flank those bastards. So, yeah. That's why I want to have... That's why I want to have, um... 
airfields here because I I know that this kind of thing will happen every once in so often. Now, what do we do here? Architectural surveys. Well, no. So I'll I'll bring that up on me here. So there's 250 votes for me. Well, I need to get rid of a little bit of influence here. You know, I got a little bit too much. So underworld headquarters. Oh, I could build even more here. Damn. So I don't really need to conquer that much. I really realize that contraband supply. Oh. <laughs> Use the spies to bribe politicians. Use the spies for information. So I can either gain influence or or intel. Well, I know what I want to have. So with that extra intel, I'll craft myself another another two things, and we're going to avoid that loss of an agent here. And I gained another unit we'll of snipers. And Holno needs fresh troops. There we go. Okay. So far, so good. So, how the hell are you using the, the airfield now? I have no clue. We're listening. Are both airfields now installed? So... Military units can embark or disembark. Yeah. And uh, how? Well, that's a good question. We're gonna ask that another time. So, what can I install here? Contraband cash. Uh, that's the one which I need to where I need to pillage. Back alley doctor. Hidden explosives. Influence and intel production. Holy crap. It's so powerful. Let's leech technology from these guys, though. And let's do so more aggressively. Alright. So, let's execute one of these probing missions there. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Neighbors is and we're going to set up bootleg markets now everywhere. So what do we have here? We've investigated another point of interest. More stuffs for me. And uh more intel here. Nice. So gain all manner of different tech stuffs there and let's see I have placed my votes there as well and now we're going to set up this little thingy there This will help me a ton. And I'd say now, burying myself here and uh, keeping everything going and well defended seems to be one of the wisest choices to me. So let's get ourselves recruitment offices and missile batteries and let's get armed to the teeth here at the border, I'd say. So, still confused about the the usage of those airfields, though, because I really don't understand yet how they're supposed to be used. But whatever, we're gonna get behind that in no time. All right, so two days until the council is going to talk about that. Here we got that thing completed. 
and let's see we got the bootleg market in there operating and now we need we need more Zolaris. Can I achieve somewhere, somehow, more Zolaris? You guys hate me, huh? Oh, okay. So, let's see. Oh, here at this place I already got one of these, but... Already... Already set up shop there. Damn. So, you folks, you'd give me money if I'd give you... Oh, well, no. I'm not giving away my influence, my man. So, we are now. At this point, well... Underworld bribes will take a little bit of time there. But all in all, I feel like I'm in a pretty... Uh, okay spot so far. So, let's get ourselves. That'll be six. And that'll be... Yeah, and then I'm pretty broke again. But whatever. I am increasing my income every anyway, so... We all gotta be fine. Let's just sell off a little bit more of that spice there. Uh, yeah. And we'll stay hidden. I really want to know now how we can use these things, because now it would be extremely useful. Ah, here, shuttle. Transport to any area within an airfield's range. Okay. Oh boy, now that's useful. Now I get it. So I'll need another wind trap. Somewhere where it's worth it. Arkfer seems to be the best place for that. So, point of interest investigated. More intel for me. Huzzah! Let's set up some more probe scanning here, and let's conquer this place. So the Freeman reached 5,000 hegemony. That's okay for me. Let's craft ourselves more gear sabotage carts. They're just so good, man. Oh, those scrappers. They love to get into okay. ranges where they're just in trouble. Hold your so there's a raid happening back there. Dang. And them dudes are on a bad spot there. Alright. So, now, let's pick up these four dudes, and move them away, and let's give some reinforcements towards Arkfer. Here we go. Just waiting for the water to be constructed there. So, combat ongoing, village under siege, mission succeeded. Oh, the Lanzrod. So, did I get the, uh, oh yeah, I, get, I did get the uh, construction reductions. Right, capturing that place and that's going to be the end of today's episode my friends so thanks a lot for watching i'd say we're in a pretty good spot still number one in the in the leaderboard here 
at the end of the day, these guys didn't even need my help. And we're we're ca we're clawing ourselves here up in the greetings in the ranks there, and it's going to be glorious. So guys, want? feel free to join join on in next time as well, when we're going to have more fun with that. I think I just made a horrible misdecision there, but well. So drop me your comments down below, leave me a thumbs up, and of course consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. There's daily content coming up from my side, and I'd love to have you guys there. So have a good one. I'll fix out that Zolari deficit until the next time, and can't wait to see you guys. Have a good one, and bye-bye.